So the goal of this part is to be able to access our site that we've just deployed via the domain name that we've chosen for this site. Now the first step is to head over to whoever you register your domain with and make sure you update the name servers to ns12and3.digitalocean.com. What that will do is we'll link this up to DigitalOcean and we're going to be using DigitalOcean to manage the DNS records for this. You may have a different setup, you might be using something like Cloudflare, uh, but really it's just a good idea to just do this with DigitalOcean just so we know this is working. You can switch that over later on. So I've done that already over on my domain name provider. Now I want to come over to the networking tab in DigitalOcean and add this domain name so we can add DNS records. So that's just under your account area and under the networking tab just here. And we want to go ahead and add this domain name. So let's add nuxcasts.com to my personal account. And let's just wait for that to finish. And there we go. Great. So we've got nuxcasts.com with NS1, 2 and 3. What we now want to do is hook up an A name record to that server that we created over on Laravel Forge. So let's create that record out now. And what that should now allow us to do, because we're redirecting the A name for this over to our IP address, we should be able to access nuxcast.com in the browser and see this working. So let's go ahead and just try that out. And there we go. Now you'll have an issue with this if you're trying to access the HTTPS version, so the secure version of this site. Um, so make sure you're accessing the unsecure version just for now. We're going to be setting up SSL in just a minute. Now I just want to verify at this point that this is deployed and working. So of course we're working on the production database now. So I'm just going to go ahead and need to register a new account on here. But as long as we followed everything correctly, we should be signed in and we should see that view component on here. Now let's also make sure that in the console that's being mounted correctly. The only issue that we'll have at the moment if we check this out is the WebSocket server might not be working. Now this is actually connecting to local because we've got 127.0.0.1 set up. Uh, we want to kind of ignore that for now because of course we're looking at running our WebSocket server on production. So now that we've done that, let's set up SSL over on Laravel Forge. To do this, we head over to the SSL option just here. We're going to be using Let's Encrypt just because it's the easiest way to do this. Now, I don't have a CNAME record set up for www, so I'm going to get rid of that in here or this will not work. Uh, let's just choose nuxcast.com and of course, whatever domain you're working with. And let's just hit obtain certificate. You shouldn't have any issues with this. It should just go ahead and install this and activate it for you. And then you should pretty much just be able to head over to your domain that you're working with, but the HTTPS version, and that should just work perfectly. So let's just wait for this to install and activate and we'll test that out. Okay, great. That looks like it has been activated. So I should now be able to head over to HTTPS nuxcast.com and that should work and we should have our secure connection set up. So that is our domain name set up, which like I said earlier is really important because a little bit later we're going to be setting up a CNAME record for our WebSockets connection and we're going to be running WebSockets over on here so we can connect to this uh, at the moment. Obviously that isn't working. So in the next part, let's look at creating a subdomain for our WebSockets and creating that Nginx reverse proxy so we can get this working.